increase and promotion, breakthrough in our finances, breakthrough in our relationship, breakthrough in our um, to see our children doing well. We all desire, we have hope, we hope to see healing, to receive good news from the doctor, to say that you are healed and well, no longer need any more medication, miracles in our lives. Tonight, I've got good news for you. I've got good news for you to experience your breakthrough, to receive your healing. Tonight, my message to you is to keep God's promise in your heart. When you keep His promise in your heart, your breakthrough will come sooner and greater. Do I have a good amen? amen? There is something powerful when you plant God's truth in your heart. When you plant the seed promise of God's words in your heart, you are positioning yourself for promotion and increase. Amen. amen. Jesus said, I have come to this world that you may have life and life more abundantly. So when you plant God's words in your heart, God will position you for your increase. So tonight, I have got a message for you that when you plant God's words in your heart, you will experience your breakthrough, Amen. your increase and your promotion faster, sooner and greater. Amen. So have a good amen. amen. Come, let us read God's words together. There's a promise in the Bible. And let us read and receive God's word. And then let us learn together to see how we can go about planting His word in our heart and, and allow us to be positioned by God for our promotion, our increase, our healing, and our breakthrough in our life. Amen. Let us turn to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4, let me read for you. By which have been given to us exceeding great and precious promises, that through these you may be partaker of the divine nature. Now, here this verse, the word of God says that God has given to us His exceedingly great and precious promises. That when we plant them in our heart, we may be partaker of the divine nature. In other words, when we plant this exceedingly great and precious, powerful word of God in our heart, we partake, we will receive, we will see God coming through. Okay, it's 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4. If you may want to record them down, go back home, memorize this verse. This is a very powerful verse. Okay, and it says here, by which have been given to us. God has given to us exceedingly great, beyond measure, very, very great. Exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partaker of the divine nature. So I believe that when you plant His promise in your heart, you will see supernatural, extraordinary. You will see God coming through in your challenges, in whatever situation you may face, God coming through powerfully and cause you to experience His goodness. Amen. Do I have a good amen? amen? Now, there are times when we are faced with challenges, difficulties and sickness. You receive a negative report. Your The relationship was not improving. Difficult, challenging. Um, your project ended and you wonder how am I going to move on. The doctors have just given a negative report. Uh, and then you begin to worry. It is easy in a situation like this for someone to worry to become disappointed, to expect the worst. 
Yes or no? It is easy for us to begin to wonder how are we going to get by? How are we going to move on? It is easy to focus on the problems and challenges and become disappointed. But tonight, I have got good news for you. Jesus has won it all. Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Yeah. I have got good news for you. Jesus said, in this world, you will face challenges. Yes, that relationship may give you difficulty. That job may be challenging. That your children may be mixing with the wrong crowd. Yes, there is challenges. But tonight, the truth is that when you keep His promise in your heart, the Lord promised that He will raise you up. He will put you above. The solution will come. The healing will come. The restoration will come. Miracles, signs and wonders will follow you. Blessed are you. For you have been given exceeding great promise. Exceedingly great promise that when you partake of this promise, you will receive divine nature. Do I have a good amen? amen? Thank you, Jesus. There is something powerful working in your life. Jesus said, He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. I'd like to encourage you tonight, begin to cultivate a habit of keeping the seed promise of God's words in your heart. Is there any word that God has promised you? When you keep it in your heart, you are allowing God to perform great things in your life. When God says yes, nobody say no. When God opens, nobody shut. He has got the ultimate say in your life. Do I have a good amen? amen? When you keep God's word in your heart, you are receiving from heaven. You are receiving from God. Just like Joseph. Joseph was born, grew up in a family of many brothers. He was the youngest. And his brothers all denied him. Imagine living in a family when all your siblings, they don't like you. Uh, Sometimes it can be quite challenging, yes or no. And um, Joseph received a promise from God. Joseph received from God in his dream that God promised him that God will raise him up promoted by the Lord and all his brothers in the dream are bowing down to him. So God gave him a promise that in his life, you are facing challenges. But God promised him that he will be raised by God and the challenges that he faced are bowing down to him. Joseph kept that promise in his heart. Although he was happy about it, but the challenges did not leave him. One day, Joseph's brother sold him away as slaves. And Joseph was sold into Egypt as slave. Imagine if you have been sold away by your brothers as slaves. How would you feel? You will feel angry, yes or no? You will feel disappointed, yes or no? You will start to think, because of you, today I have been sold to Egypt as a slave. You will harbor bitterness and resentment in your heart, yes or no? It is very easy and natural for you to look at the unfair, look at the ill treatment, look at the challenges and start to feel angry, unhappy, Grumbling and complaining. All these are not healthy. Tonight, may I share to you, there is a powerful truth God has given to us. Let your heart be filled with His promise. 
and you will see miracle signs and wonders in your life. Amen. 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 Do not let your heart be filled with disappointment, anger, frustration, unhappiness, bitterness, and resentment. All these are poison, not only to your body, but they are also poison to our future. But when you begin to apply 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, keep the seed promise of God's word in your heart. These are exceedingly great promise of God for you and I. When you keep His promise in your heart, you know what you're doing? You are partaking in His divine nature. You need a healing, healing will come. You need a restoration, restoration will come. If you need a supply, supply will come. Why? Jesus said, I have overcome the world. Do I have a good amen? Amen. amen. There is nothing that Jesus cannot do. Now, in Genesis chapter 39 verse 2, Genesis chapter 39 verse 2, the Bible records for us, that Joseph was bought over by the Pharaoh or an officer of the Pharaoh of Pharaoh, captain of the guard. In Genesis chapter 39, verse 2, the Bible says, The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. Mm. His master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. The truth is this, when you keep his promise in your heart, you are a successful man. Amen. Do I have a good amen. Amen. amen? The economy may look bad. Yes. But because you kept his promise in your heart, he will supply my needs. And the Lord will make you a successful man. Do I have a good amen? Amen. You may miss out the application. But because you kept his promise that, he, that the Lord will open rivers in the desert, the Lord said, you will be a successful man. Amen. Just like Joseph, he may be a slave on the outside. People may see him as slave. Just like Joseph, he may have nothing. No prospect, no future. Not even freedom to himself. But you know what? It doesn't matter what it may look like on the outside. It doesn't matter what other people may say. It doesn't matter how your bleak your future may be. It doesn't matter even other people may have control over your life. But when you keep God's promise in your heart, God will raise you up. God make you a successful man. Amen. Do I have a good amen? amen? You know why? Because whatever, whatever that is on the inside is controlling what is on the outside. It's not what outside that is controlling inside. So what other people say about you is not as important as what you say about yourself and what God says about you. So when you keep God's promise in your heart, here in this case, Joseph kept God's promise in his heart. God promised Joseph that I will raise you up and all people will bow down to you. When God says so, God will do. Do I have a good amen? amen? When God give you the promise, God will fulfill his promise. He cannot lie. When God say yes, mean yes. When he say no, means no. God cannot lie. So when Moses kept God's promise in his heart, the Bible says he is a successful man. Now here in this case, in the same verse, the word of God says that Joseph's master had no choice but to make him a second commander in charge. Why? Because he saw that the Lord was with him. And the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. The commander saw Joseph 
something different, something special about this man. There is something very different in him. Other people may plant the plantation. But when Joseph plant the plantation, the crops are specially bigger and tastier. The fruits are larger. Other people may lead, but when Joseph led, they are winning victories and they have great they, they, they have great achievement and accomplishment. That is something about this man. And the commander promoted Joseph. Tonight, may I encourage you that it doesn't matter what other people may say about you. They may say, you may say, not say words of encouragement. They may be focusing on, on other things. It doesn't matter what the report may report about your situation. But when you keep God's promise in your heart, God will bring you to your destiny. Do I have a good amen? amen. Many years ago, uh, I had experienced God powerfully blessed me when I kept His promise in my heart. You know, when my children were younger, we had to register them to primary school. So uh, my eldest daughter came on age uh, and I had to register her to primary school, primary one. I had already registered her to my uh, to one school and uh, that is the normal uh, neighborhood school. Then I um, already registered her, accepted and ready to put her to the neighborhood school. But then one day I was sitting down uh, praying. God gave me a promise and God said to me, I will put your daughter to a Christian school and um, will teach her the way of the Lord. <coughs> I was so happy and so excited and I start to think the school that I put her in was not a Christian school. So um, uh, the Lord promised me to put her to a Christian school, a mission school. And, uh, and uh, 